Hi guys, how are you? Hope you guys are doing well. So today we are going to be filming the first Come Dry With Me 2020. That's so exciting. I I love doing videos like these and I love watching videos like these. So today is going to be a good day. It's quite sunny in Leicester, which is amazing. And we don't usually get sun. But the fact that it's sunny today, I thought, you know what? It's going to put me in the best mood to film a Come Dry With Me. Um, I have just had a large coffee so please ignore if I sound a bit crazy in this video or a bit hyper coffee is um kind of kicking in now so I can feel my heart beating a little bit I'm energized I am ready to go so it's perfect timing because I'm gonna be filming this video so you know energy is needed but beforehand I am gonna have a parasite well this is ibuprofen I'm gonna have some sort of medication because yesterday I fell asleep with such a bad headache I woke up with such a bad headache and it's still lingering about so I'm gonna tackle that and have some medication I don't know if you are allowed to have this if you've had caffeine I'm just gonna read through this quickly because I don't even know to be fair bismillah so let's have that okay so now that that's done we are gonna hit the road i have a few things to do today i've got a few errands to run i need to nip to town to do to go into primark i need to do a primark haul i haven't done one in ages so i need to do that i have got some parcels to send off today so yeah i've got quite a few things to do um without this long intro let's jump in let's put the car on and let's hit the road a few moments later okay so i have reached my first destination which is the post office i've got like i mentioned a few parcels to post so i'm gonna go in in a minute but beforehand i'm gonna go and answer some of you lots of questions because i asked you guys to ask me on instagram some questions that you guys wanted me to basically answer in this video and you guys did so i'm gonna go through those and answer them so the first question is what is your next goal in life so my next goal in life um i've got a lot of goals a lot of goals that i want to personally achieve i feel like everyone should have goals to work towards that's really important but some of the goals that I want to achieve, inshallah, is... I think I mentioned this, but um, if I haven't, I want to obviously be a house owner you know, this year. Like, I want to buy our first house, inshallah. Like, that would be such a huge achievement. I'll be so excited when that happens. Secondly, of course, settle down, have a family. Um, I feel like we're coming towards that age now that it's like, okay, we need to have like a, our own little family, but that'd be so exciting, inshallah. If God wills and if God gives us a kid, then that'd be incredible. But those are kind of my main two goals at the moment. Of course, be spiritually like connected with God. I feel like that's so important. Like not only this year, like of course, every single day, but because like life is so busy. I don't want to give this excuse, but life is so busy nowadays. We tend to like kind of disconnect and, you know, like, and we only, only connect when it's like, like Ramadan we 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 start to do more for God and like pray and do this and I don't want to do that just when it's Ramadan I want to be like that every single day so that is my main focus inshallah like just really be connected to God and always be thankful for what God's given us because he's given us so much and I feel like we take advantage of it like we are just so used to doing the things that we do and just wake up and just take everything for granted that we don't just stop for a minute and be thankful for what God's given us so that is one thing i want to focus on is wake up and just be thankful so yeah um i am gonna quickly jump in because i don't know how long i can kind of be here for so i'm gonna go in pay for my post send my posts off and then i'll be right back to answer the next couple of questions in a different location so i'm going to be answering some questions in different locations so it's a bit more fun for you guys and probably the the, the background will be a bit different so it'll be like a little bit yeah i don't know it was so sunny a minute ago but now it's like gray everywhere i don't stand i i swear like five minutes ago when i was driving i was like oh it's so nice and sunny today but now it's like grim typical uk weather i can't wait to escape um next month and go on holiday because it's um definitely needed so let me go in let me pay for my post let me get my um life sorted and i will be right back okay so i'm gonna answer another question and then move on to location number two or three i don't even know anymore so another question is um 
this is a little spicy but how much do youtubers earn so it differs okay so i'm going to go into it and try to explain it as best as i can so it differs for every youtuber it depends on how many number like it depends on how many views you get per video so example um if you get 1000 views i think it i think like one pound it equals to one uh, one pound so i think that's kind of how it works and it depends on the cpm so i feel like that's kind of how it is it differs for every single person but it depends on how many views you get you also get paid by the ads that you see on people's videos so like if you see an ad on my video basically the company is paying youtube therefore we get a bit of a percentage of it so you know how some people put like 10 ads in one video and you're like what is this they're basically getting more money than a normal person because they're putting so many ads in a video so i probably would put i actually let youtube do it for me because i'm so lazy like that i think um youtube put like an ad before the video in the middle and the end i think that's how it works i just do it like automated so like youtube does it for me but i know a lot of people that add a lot of ads in their videos so then they get more money that way I can't be bothered for that to be honest guys i just let youtube automatically do it for me but yeah that's how people get paid too of course sponsorships is such a huge thing so it all depends on numbers engagement um how many views you get it all depends on the person so how many interaction how much interaction they get so it differs with every single person so i can't give you a specific amount i know that's so annoying but it honestly it differs all the time so I hope that kind of explains it but yeah anyways i am gonna go because i wanted to show you this beautiful stunning view but because it's so gray and dull now you can't even see it so i'm gonna move on to destination number two or three okay so your girl's back i literally just finished doing my primark shop so look out for a primark haul coming your way really really soon um, so yeah it's been a while since i last spoken to you guys um it stopped raining hallelujah it's a little bit brighter and a bit more just a bit more cheerful which is great of course i can't do a drive with me without going to my Macadies. it's like it's a classic do you know what i mean so i had to go macadies and do and i had to buy something because plus it's lunchtime it's like half two oh so of course it made sense to go to macadies even though i'm trying my best to eat healthy because obviously it's january and i'm hitting the gym and i'm staying fit i went for a healthy option at macadies because you can some people think it's all junk food and macadies but you can actually go for a healthier option so for my drink choice it's oasis instead of a coke or whatever you usually get so oddly enough the next question is how do you stay motivated to lose weight and how did you lose weight okay so that's a really good question so back in school college i've always back in i'd say Mm, i'd say school i was the chubby kid and it doesn't help that my name is my second name is chubby so and you know your girl got bullied a little bit for that i ain't gonna lie but okay so how i lost weight is honestly down to food control like i would say compromise so say you're having something not really healthy for lunch compromise so say for breakfast have a healthy meal or dinner have something a bit lighter um, or vice versa say you have a heavy breakfast pancakes and all that good stuff then for lunch maybe have a salad that's what i usually do so like one meal will be carbs the next meal will be like a salad vegetables and stuff and then um obviously my protein and stuff but um i always compromise so like if one meal is heavy the next meal is gonna be light so that's kind of how it works so a little tip for you guys if you guys want to get a healthier option from Acadies, this is i know it's not i know you're supposed to do this but a happy meal even though your girl's not young anymore she's old okay so basically what i usually do in the happy meal first and foremost you get a toy so i'm definitely gonna give this to my nephew he's gonna love that anyways what i usually get is i usually get Oh my god, I'm so annoyed because I really wanted a veggie wrap, like I was feeling a veggie wrap. And they gave me two fingers, two veggie fingers. I don't know how I feel about that to be fair. 
so yeah basically what i was trying to say if you want to be healthy and you want to go for a healthier option in macadies what i usually get is i usually get a veggie wrap from the kids um, happy meal a drink or water and then for the snack i usually get fruit and i just realized they gave me chips this is going really well for me i am so annoyed right now i'm so tempted just to go dr drive through but then you know what it's there's quite a few cars in the drive through at the moment and I really can't be bothered and I found the perfect space here. <sighs> okay, I'm just going to have to say Alhamdulillah and just go for it. I'm just going to have to try these. Apparently these are new, the new veggie f dippers they have. Doesn't really look appealing. Like, look at that. It does not look appealing whatsoever. <gasps> Is this veggie or... It smells like chicken though, you know. Let me open it up. Okay, it's definitely the veggie vegetables inside let's try this bismillah ar rahim i do not like that i do not like that whatsoever that's not oh guys i would not recommend this it's it's nasty it tastes like it tastes like a curry in so-called a veggie finger thingy majing dipper yeah it's definitely a no-no for me okay so i had a random question and it said are you and your sister iman really twins or not day one follow uh, i am your day one follower on youtube thank you so much no we are not twins whatsoever meanie man i am actually older than her she just turned 20 and i am um, your girl's old okay so no we're not twins even though everyone thinks we're twins i'm just like how she's got blue eyes i've got like brown hazily eyes and um, we are not twins at all so no we're not <laughs> this is such a funny question they say wives take years to fart in front of their hobbies has adult ever heard you fart yes of course he has i don't I don't I don't see why that's so embarrassing if you're so comfortable with your partner which you should be because he's your husband you should be like so comfortable to do whatever you want to do of course it's so natural like who why would you be so shy to fight in front of your husband I don't I don't see that as an issue for us because we're so open with each other me and Adol yeah fart babe do whatever you want to do in front of each other it's normal you guys are life partners you guys are going to be forever together forever so inshallah so you know you should feel comfortable you should your husband should be your friend if he's not a friend to you and it's so formal with each other then question it because that's not normal you and your partner should be open to do whatever you want to do with each other because you know marriage that's marriage marriage should be like that Okay, so the next question is, if you would do a collab with any other YouTuber, who would it be? That's a really good question. I would love to do a collab with Umema. She's on YouTube and she's got an Instagram account as well. She seems like the coolest person ever. Her vibe is my vibe. We would get along so well together. Guys, if you want to see that happen, let your girl know let her know because i would love to collab with her i think she's so cool she's so down to earth she's pretty much the same age as me she's married she's young like she's like us so when i see her and how she acts with her husband i'm like oh my god we're so similar except that she lives in birmingham and i live in leicester that's the only difference but apart from that we're so similar like our characters seem so similar from what i've seen obviously on her channel and stuff so that's one person i would 100 percent love to collab with because she she seems like my kind of girl, you know? Another question is, what do you look in for a friend? What qualities do your friends need for you to be, for them to be around you? So, that's a really good question. So, for me, friends have to be loyal. End off. Like, friends have to be loyal. They have to have your back. When they say, when they text you like, oh, babe, I'm, I'm, I'm always here for you. Where are you, babes? Where are you? So, that's for me. <laughs> wow that went deep real quick <laughs> okay so for me friends just have to be loyal they have to actually be there for you when they say they are and not chat shit behind your back and not take advantage of you all of that and i want someone who's funny who's open to be who's willing to be open with me and have fun and let the hair down and just be crazy because that's how i am like when i 
when I proper relax and when I really open up to someone, they'll see literally a different side to me. Apparently, I'm so funny as a person. I, I don't know, but that's what I've been told. Like, that's how it is. This chip needs to be eaten because it's just flying around. <laughs> Yeah, so that's kind of the quality I look in a friend. I want someone who's loyal, who's fun, who's down to do whatever. You know, you know, not, not much, you know, I'm not asking for much. But yeah, that's basically what it is. One question I seem to get a lot is, why have you started showing your hair? Are you going to be taking your scarf off soon? The question is, the answer is no, of course not. I do not want to take my scarf off soon. I will not be taking my scarf off soon, ever, inshallah. I wear it for a reason and I absolutely love wearing a hijab. Hijab is me, it's my identity. Sometimes if my hair shows, it's not because I'm doing it on purpose to literally take my hair out to show. It's because I literally can't, I feel like I've answered this, but if I haven't, I have cut my hair recently. I've got a fringe, okay? Guys, it's the most hardest thing to have ever. I wish I never got a fringe because it's so hard to maintain. And like when I clip it, it literally just ends up falling because I've got really straight, fine hair. So when my hair is like, peeping out my scarf it's not because i'm doing it on purpose it's literally that it's literally falling and that's how it is so no i am not taking my scarf off anytime soon do i want to no i don't want to take my scarf off it's literally because i cut my hair and i've got a fringe and it's literally the most annoying thing ever another question is was it hard getting into adult life example finding a job etc adult life is so hard okay this you have so much responsibility there's so much you have to do this oh, adult life is very very hard as much as i love it because you have a lot more freedom to do to do whatever you want to do it's hard because you have to always think about you know money you have to think about bills you have to think about like your household you have a lot more responsibility you know when you're young and you're like oh, i just want to grow up and be cool and have money and all of that shit it's cool to an extent but then it gets a bit complicated where it's just hard because especially when you like finish college and university like you are kind of in that position where you're like i need to find a job i need to like go into education i need to you know like find a job so basically i can have a job in the future so it is hard but i still love being an adult to some extent like it's cool because you have like obviously more freedom to do whatever you want to do um uh, but it is hard in a sense like you have a lot more commitment and obviously there's more worries and bills and it's just never ending to be fair with you okay guys so that is it i feel like i feel like the video is so long as it is i hope you guys enjoyed this come drive with me and um, i will get a tripod soon so i can pop you guys somewhere and then we can drive together but I'm still figuring it out guys uh, so please bear with me but I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys did don't forget to smash that thumbs up and I shall see you guys really really soon in my next video I love you all so much and oh hiccups bye <laughs>